Now you know the basics of setting up random number generators, but now I'm going to show you some more stuff you can do with that. First things first, if you have not watched episode 1 of this tutorial series, go check that out now before you check out this video, otherwise let's get right to it. After setting up a random number generator, if you forgot how to do that, refer to video 1. You'll have a command block with this command, and now you'll summon the pids. Putting 5 pids in a row with 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 as their fall damage values will get a basic random number generator. But maybe you want some numbers to appear more often than others. To do this, simply summon more pids with the same numbers as other pids. For example here, now I have 5 ones and 1 each of 2, 3, 4, and 5 and you can see on the right side that 1 is a lot more common. This layout with 5 1s, 4 2s, 3 3s, 2 4s, and 1 5 will make 1s the most common, and each higher number is progressively rarer until you get to 5. And this setup with 19 pids set to 1 and 1 pid set to 2 makes it so that the random number generator very occasionally displays 2, but usually displays 1. What if you want to skip a number in the random number generator? Well, that's also pretty simple to do. All you have to do when summoning the pids, for example, if we want to skip 4, we just don't spawn in a 4th pid. We go straight to 5, and then we can go to 6, to 7. If we don't want 8, we can skip 8 and go straight to 9. Now we have pids numbered 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9. And as you can see in the random number generator, if I slow it down, the numbers that show up never include 4 or 8. Here's another example. This one is set to 1, this one set to 10, this one set to 100, and this one set to 1000. As you can see, those are the only four numbers that show up. But if I add one more pid, let's say 64, then you'll see that 64 shows up in the random number generators as well. By the way, these random number generators, depending on what your pids can be set to, can go all the way up to this value, the 32-bit integer limit, or approximately 2.147 billion. And you can also use negative numbers if you so desire. Now a question you may be asking is what if you want a random number generator that goes way up into the hundreds but don't feel like placing hundreds of pids which will lag the game? Well you can actually combine two random number generators into one. Let's place another command block and set this one to RNG2. Make sure to change it in both places and now we have RNG1 and RNG2. Now let us summon a row of pids with RNG1 that goes up to 10 and a row of RNG2 pids that goes up to 10. Now, with the two random number generators active at the same time, there are a total of 10 times 10, or 100 possibilities. So we have now created a combined random number generator that has 100 possibilities, but we only needed 20 pigs. If we add a third one, RNG3, and add a row of pigs set to RNG3, also equal to 10, now we only have 30 pigs, but with the random number generators, there can be 10 times 10 times 10, or 1,000 different combinations. And now you may be asking, what if you want to remove a random number generator? Well, to do that, we can get out our diamond sword. Uh, what am I saying? We need to get the netherite axe and kill any of the pids that you do not need. With the row of RNG3 pids gone, you can see that RNG3 is now set to zero. If you want to completely remove RNG3 from the random number generators, you will find the command block for RNG3 and destroy it. And then you will run this command. Running that command will reset the scores for RNG3 and make RNG3 disappear. You can find the command for RNG1 in the description and then edit the 1 to whatever number you need. Now that you know some more about random number generators, I recommend you go check out this video which has some applications with other command blocks that random number generators can be useful for. The video also shows you how you can optimize your random number generators even further depending on the application. And with that, that's going to conclude this video. This is the next Minecraft channel to hit a million subscribers, so you better click that subscribe button. And until next time, goodbye. Obsidian Volcano.